What's up collectors and pop culture fanatics? We are here in Sevierville, Tennessee at a little convention called Smoky Mountain Collector Showcase. It's in somewhat of a small building, but it's actually kind of impressive. A lot of card stuff, a lot of action figures, uh, a couple odds and ends, but uh, we've got the Ecto-1 out here, a little Dodge looking pretty sick. So I'm gonna go in and check it out. So this place right here is called Game On. They do um, grading. This is their company here. GAC. We actually got a card from them a minute ago. Really cool. I'll show that a little bit later. They've got a whole table full of stuff. If you want to. Come with me. Be your camera lady. So, as you can see, this is a big show for uh, cards. Like, as soon as you walk in, we got the grading service right here. And they're actually local in, uh, what did they say, Sevierville? Uh, yes, Sevierville. Okay, so Sevierville. So, if you're in, in Tennessee, anywhere, and you don't want to send your cards off to get graded, you can go here. And uh, I think it's $20 a card. Or they have deals where you send in 20 and it's $18, so that's perfect. More graded cards and card packs. The uh, Ghostbuster guys out here. This is like a uh, a lot older select where it doesn't really have a lot of mobility. 2002. Actually, that's the same year as the uh, Wolverine over there that I was looking at. 2002 or three. <laughs> Those are cool. A little bit of Harley Quinn. I think I put an S on TJ. Oh. TJ's. So. TJ's. I'll change it. <laughs> no, I'm a YouTube sucker. I watch too much of it. All the time. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, just go on there and watch my content. <laughs> <laughs> well, I subscribe. I'll watch. If I see anything good, I'll stay subscribed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right on, man. We appreciate it. No problem. You gotta support the cause. You gotta support the hustle. <laughs> It, uh, I'll be, hey man, look, I'll be Mr. Beast one day. We'll come in here, I'll drop 10K. One day, you'll one remember. Day. Like, that was the guy. Like, that's the guy. Those are the guys. Hope you find some good stuff, man. Yeah, for, do you guys know, uh, I know you got a lot of uh, legends here. Uh, do you have Miles Morales? <laughs> do you know? I don't have anything Miles Morales. He might in the comic version, but I have nothing to worry about. He's like, he's like the hardest one to find. Hey, well, Hard to find and expensive when you do. Expensive, so that's kind of where I'm at. I don't really want to pay the money for it. But is that what? Why can't I like something that's not so mainstream? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Here I don't have 
many of the toys from like the old, uh, the first Marvel first wave. Okay. It's twenty five bucks. That's not bad. That says ten right there. <clears throat> That's a big figure. I think its legs are like underneath the box. I think this sucks. Once that plastic breaks. You know, you lose what? your market with the sealed folks, and you gotta find someone who wants to open it up. Not many people want to open it. I mean, I would. Like I said, I collect the hot toy stuff. It's a little out of scale. That's more like 18 inch or so, but it'd still be cool. So, I said these guys have. Toys, cards, graded cards, comics, Funkos, everything. There's like everything here. It's such a good mix of a bunch of different stuff. And there's a lot of first and second edition Pokemon cards here, which is not the easiest thing to find. talking to Dave Ellis over here with all the Star Wars stuff. He was trying to uh, trying to make a deal with him on something. These are really cool. I was, at, I was about to point this one out. I need that motor car. Right, yeah. You'd hope not anyways. Yeah, right. <laughs> How we doing, folks? We're good. How's it going, man? These look really cool. Thank you. Yeah, they're all uh, 30 per. I do. I like the Shaggy. I think that's probably my favorite. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm a big Scooby-Doo fan. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. What is, uh, what is this guy from? So, this is a character from a live play podcast of D&D called Fresh Cut Grass. Okay. He's from uh, the podcast name is Critical World. Okay, this uh, this like weathering effect you have in here, that's I feel like that's hard to do. It, it takes a little bit of work, yeah. It's uh, it's not as it's not as easy as just spraying in a, a hair color, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Very neat. All right, go the rest of the Thanks, man. Well, anybody in these places. This is a storm collector with Mike Tyson. That's our only incomplete figure here. But... What is uh, just missing the extra heads? Yeah. Do you know if any of the joints are real loose or anything on it? Uh, no, they should be. I don't think we ever played with them. I think we just took them out and looked at them a little bit. Cool. Catch them. <clears throat> Do you guys have PayPal? Well, 
Well, I can, uh... What's your name? Isa. Hi, sweetie. Isa. Isa. She's beautiful. Hi. Sweet. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She's a good girl. Hi. Hi, cutie. Oh, you're so lovey. Oh, you're so lovey. Do you smell my dog? <laughs> she's a wolf hybrid. Um, she will be a year old next week, so she's still yeah. a puppy. But <laughs> wow.
quick, before we call it quits here, I have a surprise for you. So many viewers may not know, but October is actually the month for his birthday. So I happened to surprise him by picking up a little something here. Freaking George Lucas, let's go. Yeah, baby. Very nice. Happy birthday, my friend. I was very excited. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Always. Best Represent. friend right here. That's it. Star Wars fans. spirit-led artwork and so these are different images that I have done of spirit guides, deities, things like that for people. I love this so beautiful. <laughs> and that is what I do. <laughs> Where can we find your books at and your art? The books are on Amazon, um, Kindle, and also at Barnes and Noble. Okay. And then the paintings, you can just message me on Facebook. Um, my name on there is Dread Pirate Roberts. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys. So we just got done with Smoky Mountain Collector Showcase. That's what it's called, Smoky Mountain Collector Showcase. Got it. We just got done with that. We're now outside of Panda Express, about to get that Beyond Chicken and Chow Mein, Chow Mein and Beyond. What did you say? Is that what it was? Chow Mein and Beyond. Chow Mein and Beyond. Um, so we got a couple of things. We actually found some really good deals at this convention. Um, first and foremost, I want to show this. My wife actually pointed this out to me. It is the Fire Spin GX with Charmander, Charmillion, and Charizard the GX. The foil card. Foil card, not the metal, the foil graded at a 10 and this GOG I'm pretty sure that's what it is GOG is a grading service in uh, Sevierville Tennessee <coughs> oh you got the it's in Sevierville Tennessee and uh, game on grading game on grading they do grading for all your cards and stuff so if you're local you have cards of any sort you've got uh, baseball cards Pokemon doesn't matter basketball <coughs> They, uh, they do grading. It's $20 a card. You can send them in or you can bring them to them and uh, eliminate the shipping process so you save money. There's a car show going on, by the way. Yeah. We were going to enter, but our car was just a little too a little too sweet for it. Yeah, it's just, that's what it is. You know. It's but not yeah. the paint peeling off or anything. <laughs> Game on grading, you go to their website and they do all that. They've got TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, website. There's that. You can pause it and put your phone up to the video. All right. There you go. Sorry. And then we got, uh, this is called Pink Zebra Sprinkles. They do uh, soy wax. And we got this from them. It's a, uh, it's a really good smelling, like a pumpkin, what is it? Pumpkin caramel swirl. Watch, I dump them all out. God, you're kidding. <laughs> Got that for my wife, she uh, enjoys the stuff. And then Tyler bought me this for my birthday coming up. Super excited, I've been looking for this guy. I just haven't, I mean, it's one of those that you're never gonna find in store. So I appreciate that for sure. And I picked up this Mike Tyson from Storm Collectibles. That's right, $20, dude. It's missing the two head sculpts, but literally all he comes with is two head sculpts and then the figure itself with the other head sculpt on it. But 20 bucks, you can't beat that, 20 bucks. <clears throat> and then the same booth had the special edition Ryu from uh, 
from Storm Collectibles for a hundred. And well, you got it for what? Uh, seventy-five. There yeah. So we we snagged this up for seventy-five. We're gonna have Mike Tyson and Ryu fighting each other. Oh, I think that's a kind of a, a kick-ass yeah. combination. <clears throat> so those are all my pickups. Tyler's gonna show you what he got. Got me a Cobb Vanth here from our man David. You all probably seen him, I don't know, six times at the conventions we've been to. He, yeah. He pretty much has like all the Star Wars collectibles you could ever want. Anytime we need one, he's always got the hookup. He's also local here to Knoxville. So I uh, picked that one up for, I think it was 40... 45 ish, right? I think, yeah, uh, yeah, oh yeah, 45. 45, and I picked up uh, this guy here, June, from uh, the halo series halo reach and i actually got him for ten dollars so actually below market on that one which was awesome and that's the coolest thing about don't don't sleep on your local conventions Absolutely especially not. when they're small like that <clears throat> because smaller conventions are cheaper for people to set up at both wise this one was free admission and they said they're going to keep it free admission as long as they can yep. so by being free admission, you have more people that come in. <clears throat> it's not extremely advertised, which is okay. But when people come in, they have more money to spend because they're not spending one hundred and fifty dollars to meet a celebrity, yep. or you know, seventy-five for an autograph. <clears throat> and then you find insane deals like what we've got. And I think the two steals of the day is definitely this one for ten and this one for twenty. Definitely, because you got a thirty-dollar figure and a hundred-dollar figure for less than forty dollars. So, or $30. <clears throat> so, that's kind of where we're at as far as the smaller conventions go. We we want to try and attend them all um, to, you know, meet and socialize, especially locally, but also because we like collecting. And these figures, you just can't beat the prices on a lot of them. And it was a one-day show, so everybody, well, you don't have to wait till Sunday to try and make deals. I mean, there was, you know, this one... I was looking at this and he said 30 bucks and I was like, okay, um, he goes, all right, 25. And I was like, shit, how long do I have to stand here to get to five? <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, Deal it right was on a, the spot, a minute. Yeah, yeah the reaction actually was quite hilarious. The, uh, he immediately said 25 and without even taking a breath, he was going, uh, deal. Yeah. Deal. I was like, all right. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Smoky Mountain, Co Smoky Mountain Collectors Showcase. There it's, you it's go. so hard to say. Um, but... But, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. Don't sleep on the small conventions. Check them out. This one was really fun. They're doing it next year, March, in Sevierville, Tennessee. Probably Man. in the same spot. We're going to set up at it next year. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, he's going to set up an art, uh, author booth with his book, uh, Nightfall Peak. And I will have the, the Tyler's Custom stuff going on. Heck, yeah. And uh, we'll also be walking around filming. So if you guys see the pink hoodie, I mean, it's going to be March. I don't know if I'll have the hoodie. But it'll probably be a pink shirt so I can get them... them kicks in with it heck yeah but uh yeah check it out guys we should be there next year and I'll, I'll do a short or something come time for it but uh we appreciate you watching the video and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe that helps us leave a like um and as always collect what you love